In this tutorial, we will look at using VMware KVM mode with VMware Workstation 10. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base Article 2057914. VMware KVM mode can be used as an alternative to run virtual machines in full screen, allowing switching between them using a configurable hotkey. The first step in using KVM mode with Workstation 10 is to set the hotkeys for KVM mode. This must be done using the command prompt. To open the command prompt, press the start button, and inside the search box, type command. Then, click the command prompt icon at the top of the window. This will open up the command prompt window, where we can gain access to KVM mode. But before we can do this, we must edit the preferences. This means we need to go to the correct directory. By default, the correct directory is located here for Windows Vista, 7 and 8 32-bit users. Use this for 64-bit and users of Windows Server 2008 R2 and 2012, and this for XP users. To change your preferences for KVM mode, input the following command into the prompt, making sure you are in the correct directory. Press return to open the KVM preferences window. In the preferences window, there are a number of areas of interest to us. We have the cycle hotkey section, the ungrabbing and stretch options, the monitor selection, and the when exiting selection. The cycle hotkey section lets you create a keyboard shortcut which will allow you to cycle through available virtual machines running on your host machine. To create a hotkey, just click on the modify button and input your desired combination of keys. The Allow Ungrabbing checkbox lets you decide whether the mouse cursor can be released from the VM with the use of the hotkey Control alt The Stretch Guest checkbox allows you to choose whether or not the display for the virtual machine will stretch to fit the screen. If you're running a host with more than one monitor connected, you can use the Run on Monitor drop-down menu to decide which screen the VM will use. Finally, the When Exiting section allows you to choose from three options which will determine the power state of the VM after exiting KVM mode. And once you're happy with your change settings, hit the OK button. In the final phase of this tutorial, we will enter KVM mode. To do this, we must make sure we are in Command Prompt and at the correct directory. Once you're at the right place, you must enter this command. With a minor edit to this command, we can completely change what the command does. By adding this into the command, you will power off the specified VM. Use Suspend to suspend the specified VM. Reset allows a user to reset the VM. Detach will detach the VM, so the VM will then run in the background. Exit will quit VMware KVM mode. And finally, Preferences will open up the Preferences dialog. However, to run the VM in KVM mode, leave out these options and enter the command. Remember, the file path for your command may differ from this depending on your system and where you stored the VMX file. Press the return key and we will enter KVM mode. Here we can see that the VM has begun to load and we are now successfully running our virtual machine in KVM mode. This concludes our look at using VMware KVM mode with VMware Workstation 10. For additional tutorial videos, subscribe to the VMware KB YouTube channel and our blog. Thank you for choosing VMware.